everyone welcome back to my channel so let's jump into your messages and see what the universe wants you to know for this bonus reading be sure to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell so when i upload readings you guys will be notified all right so we have the page of swords the four of pentacles coming out for you i did see the four of pentacles a lot in your pre-shuffle um i also saw the six of cups and the two of cups I feel like somebody wants to talk to you. They want to apologize about something. But first, they're checking in on you to see what you've been up to. They could be checking your social media. I don't know. I also felt like this person was reading old text messages from you. I feel like some of you were texting someone and they weren't really looking at it. They were just, you know, letting the text messages come in. And I feel like now this person has something to say. Also, this person is still hanging on to you, but they have something to say here. But I feel like this person was taking their time coming towards you. This could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. This could be something about them not being commit committed to the situation. Some of you are, are dealing with a Taurus with the Hierophant reverse. We also have the Nine of Cups. I feel like you and this person are going to have a conversation. And mainly this conversation is going to be about this person not committing and you being tired and not being happy about it. Because I feel like you sent them a text message and now they're going to finally respond to it. We have the Two of Swords. The Temperance. Oh, some of you have been being patient, trying to be patient anyway, <laughs> because I feel like there's um, there's a lot of with the full card reverse. All right, so I see Aries. Some of you are in Aries dealing with the Sagittarius, um, and I see the energy of you maybe one minute saying, okay, I want to work this out with this person, and then the next minute saying, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know which direction I want to go in. It's like you're trying to be patient with this situation, but you're not seeing like a balance between the two of you. So you're like, um, I feel like you're sort of over it. Um, also with this full reversed, I feel like you're tired of the false starts. It's like you think something is going right and it's going to move forward and you guys have a conversation or something happens to make you feel like, okay, well, let me give this person another chance. Let me see where things go. And then they disappoint you. Ace of Cups reversed. I feel like even if you pull away from this person, some of you are not wanting new love right now. You're not wanting a, a fresh start. It's like you're you're really cold and emotional, um, emotionless. You may feel like something is blocked, or maybe you have a lot going on with the Ten of Wands, and so you're like, love is like on the bottom of my list right now. Like I, I don't even care about it. And I feel like this is when they're going to show up. It's like when you cared about it, when you were ready to discuss things and work it out, they pulled away from you. And now they're coming in after um, keeping their eye on you, possibly seeing you be unbothered. But for whatever reason, they may be thinking that you're being unbothered with them. But I feel like you have a lot going on in your life right now. So you're like, I don't even have time for this person. It's like things are not about them right now. And they're going to come in thinking that it is. Some of you may get into an argument with this person. Like, I have other things to do. So like, why are you texting me now? Or why are you wanting to talk now? Yeah, somebody don't want to feel left out in the cold. I did see the Five of Pentacles a lot. In your pre-shuffle, so we have the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody feels like you're leaving them out in the cold, but I just feel like you're working hard. And if whatever you're working hard on, money is coming in for you. I don't know why I just heard. <laughs> I just heard, don't you dare show up when I blow up. Yeah. I noticed something. It was something about this reading when I was doing your pre-shuffle. I'm hearing Back Then by Mike Jones. If you know, then you know. If you know about that song, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, ask A to play Back Then by Mike Jones. I can't say um, 
like I gotta whisper Alexa because if I say it then it's like she's gonna play it and then my channel is gonna get um flagged so anyway yeah like listen to the song back then by Mike Jones and you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about because I feel like somebody is is about to sh it's like you're ble you got blessings coming in and somebody is gonna show up and you're gonna be like like how dare you show up when I blow up, but when I was trying to get your attention, when I wanted to be with you, when I had time, you didn't have time for me. It's like you were not there for me when I needed you. But with the three of pentacles and the five of pentacles, like this person no longer wants to be left out in the cold. They want to show up. They want to compromise. They want to talk about things. They want to work something out. This could be an earth sign. It's a lot of... Or this is, um, it's like when you're, fo now you're focused on your stability and your security. Here they come talking about love and romance. And you're like, I don't even, <laughs> like, bruh, I don't even care. Or sis, I don't, I'm not even like focused on that right now. All right. So we have the page of cups. So here's a love offer coming in. Yep. After somebody was dragging their feet with the knight of pentacles, you had no clue what was going on with them. This could be a Pisces. Some of you could be in Pis a Pisces dealing with a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn. You don't want to, you want to talk to this person, but you really don't. It's like you're holding back from them because you're like, I don't even want this person to know I still care. It's like you're trying to keep positive energy. And you know that if you talk to this person, they're either going to mess up your day, they're going to mess up your energy. Somebody is going to tell you that they weren't being lazy and that um, I feel sorry. Somebody is going to piss you off because everything that you're going to say to them, they're going to be like, no, it wasn't like that. It was, and you're like, no, it was exactly like that. That's why I detached myself from you with the devil reverse. So this could be a Capricorn for some of you, or this is you learning how to get along without this person and they don't like it. Now it's starting to bother them. But when they didn't want to be bothered with you, it was all good. And so I feel like something here is going to confuse you because you do still love this person. The two of cups is coming up here and they still love you. Here's the communication that's coming in with the eight of wands. Like they may text you something slight. Like, oh, I miss you or what, what are you doing? Like W-Y-D or how have you been? Something very slight, but I feel like it's going to open up communication and it's going to open up you guys like really discussing everything i just feel like everything is going to come out we have cancer pisces scorpio energy here the chariot some of you are a cancer walking away from your person or you walked away from your person but you're not sure if you want to stay away from them. You're not sure of how you want things to be. So depending on what this conversation is about, depending on how it goes, you're going to know if you want to move forward. Some of you may be having some um, car problems or your person's having some car problems with this chariot showing up here. And you're not sure how things are going to work out with the car situation like you don't know if you're going to get your car fixed or if you're going to get a new car you're still trying to figure something out with the world reverse and the chariot but we do have the will of fortune right behind here so if you're going for some sort of loan car loan you're going to get it for those of you that um is resonating with this this is about luck and good fortune the tables turn in your direction things start moving in your favor a lot of opportunities come in, like uh, something change up, like you may be waiting to hear back by, uh, I mean, you may be waiting to hear back about money or getting a loan. This is something where I feel like um, things are going to change for you like overnight. You have the nine of pentacles here with the will of fortune. So the nine of pentacles came out right behind the will of fortune. So for those of you who are struggling with money right now, your money is going to improve because I did see, yeah, the ten of pentacles. 
And so maybe this is the universe's way of saying you don't even need to be bothered with this situation or being bothered with this person right now is going to take you off of things that you need to focus on that is going to help with your stability, your security, your money, your abundance. So you pulling away from someone or someone pulling away from you may have happened on purpose. Okay. The universe wanted you to focus on what was important and maybe you were putting all of your energy and your attention into this person and the universe was like mm -mm. <laughs> like they're not important yeah we have the six of swords and the ten of swords some of you are going to let somebody know like you stabbed me in the back you betrayed me too many times so i am still walking away from this like if you want to change my mind or if you want me to see things differently then you're going to have to show up in that way because I feel like some of you are just like over it. You're like, nah, I'm not turning back around. If you want me to turn back around, you got to show me. Or you come towards me. I'm hearing like, come towards me. For some of you, this was an ending. And it's going to start back up like um, things are not over. But things are definitely going to be different. You're going to be different in this relationship with this person. Yeah, somebody is going to promise you stability and security with the four of wands. It's like, they're going to be like, okay, I'm no longer playing. But it's because you no longer, I don't know if it's that you no longer care about having this ten of cups with somebody. Or it's just that you feel like, I've tried so long to have it. Like, I just, I'm no longer giving to this. I'm being selfish. I'm just worrying about me. Everything that I want. Somebody is going to complain about you being selfish. Or you asking them for things that you know that they can't afford. But you may be like, okay, well, why wouldn't I, you know, expect the best for myself? Why am I going to, you know, just because you can't afford it, it's like, go out and get it, get a job, stop being lazy. This may not even be about material things. This may just be about maybe you want a house or an apartment with this person and you're like, when are we going to make that happen? Like, how long am I going to be dating you? Like, I can't have the Ten of Cups with someone who don't have their shit together. Like, you're doing everything that you need to do for yourself, and you may feel like this person isn't. And you're like, how are we going to come together like that? But I feel like a conversation is going to... um A conversation that you're going to have is going to talk about, like, all of that. And you may even hurt this person's feelings. Keep in mind, Mercury Retrograde... August 4th through August 28th, you know, it's watch your communication. But I feel like some of you have been holding on to something and you like, no, this needs to come out. They need to hear this. It's like you've been feeling it and you've been thinking it, but you haven't been saying it. You've been sparing somebody's feelings and you're like, I'm not sparing your feelings anymore. Oh, this could be with a Leo. We have the Sun card here and we have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Do you feel like this person... They don't do enough or they don't um a lot of missed chances that they have in their life is because of them but they blame other people it's like they may tell you oh i want to be happy or i'm looking for happiness or i'm trying to do the best that i can you know to have more success you know in my life and and to grow and you're like i don't see it somebody may complain about um That they're looking for a job and that is just not coming in for them. They may tell you that. But I feel like you're going to be like, nah, I know better. I know that you're really not out there doing everything that you could be doing um, to make your life better. What messages do you have? Oh, the Eight of Cups. Some of you are working, walking away from a fire sign or an air sign. And it's like you don't want to do it or you don't know if you should do it. But it's heavy on your mind. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius with the King of Swords. We have the King of Swords and the King of Wands here. Also, I'm picking up Aquarius and Leo energy, which I pick up all the time. I don't know why I'm always picking up on Aquarius and Leo energy. Some of you, that could be your, um, your relationship. And you may feel like this person keeps hurting you and you keep putting up with it. And it's like... You don't know what else to do because you love this person so much. you like, is it really time to give up on them? 
you know, I tell people, don't be hard on yourself. Whenever I see this type of energy, don't force yourself to do something that you're not ready for and you know it's going to like make you upset. Just deal with things as it comes. You don't have to force yourself to do anything and then, you know, sit in sadness or sit in depression. You know, sort of retract your energy. Maybe limit this person's access to you. I tell people all the time, if you limit somebody's access to you, they're going to feel it. They're going to know that they have to come in and show up differently and do the right thing. Like you don't have to be hard on yourself because I feel like that's what is happening here for some of you concerning um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. But don't be, don't be too hard on yourself, especially if you know that you've done all that you've could, you've put in the hard work, that it takes to keep a relationship. And if this is not about a relationship for you and it's about your career or your job and you know that you've done all that you could, then you have to stand on that because there is better coming in for you. I feel like some of you are going through something right now and you don't even see like the turnaround because I saw the Wheel of Fortune for you, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. All right. So we have the four cups that just flew out. Yeah, ace of wands. Some of you have um some of you are really ambitious, ambitious, and you're like, I'm just looking for that perfect job, or I'm just looking for that career that's going to take me to the next level. Continue with your energy, continue being positive. Because the ace of wands is here for you. Something changes around for you really quickly. You're going to go in a different direction. The Ace of Wands is also about someone offering you something. So you may have an opportunity to start new at a new job. Or maybe if this is about school or new school or um, picking up a new skill set. That's going to change your thinking. Because you may be thinking really negative right now. Like nothing is coming through for you. And if this is about love, then someone is coming in offering you an olive branch. They're going to be saying, oh, I'm sorry. Or, you know, showing you some emotions, letting you know that they still want to work on this. The only thing I don't like to see with the four of cups and the ace of wands is that this person comes in. But they're still, um, it's like they see you as a missed opportunity. They want you in their life. But there's something about this cup that's being handed to this person where there's, their hand is not reaching out for it because there's still a third party here. So maybe they they do want you and they're like, okay, I don't know how to get rid of this third party situation that I'm dealing with. It's not as easy as it, they may feel like it's not as easy as you think it is. Oh, someone is taking action though. The Knight of Wands is here. Sagittarius energy. The Nine of Wands, you're still going to be guarded. You're going to be guarded though. So this person may feel like, oh, I'm coming in and I'm taking action and it's all going to be good, but it's not. If you're a Scorpio dealing with the Sagittarius, <laughs> this person is in for a rude awakening because you are definitely guarded here with the Nine of Wands. You're like, I've been through enough in my life to know when I see BS and I'm not putting up with it. So this person is coming in, coming towards you really fast, really passionate, like the Knight of Wands energy is. You're going to stop them in their tracks and be like, listen, I'm not this emotional person just over giving anymore. You can't take advantage of me. You can't tell me what you think I want to hear and feel like everything is going to be okay. Because I feel like someone is sneaking back towards you after keeping you waiting with the three of wands. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.